What up, everyone? It's your boy, Sir Tim Allen, the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome you to another edition of Your Daily Revolution, the podcast that helps you to wake up, turn your brain on, and to prosper every single day in every part of your life. Today's topic, creating real certainty. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. In the previous podcast, I talked about the economic value of certainty and what real certainty would mean to you, to your bottom line, to your physical health and power, to your relationships and the the breadth and depth of the, the meaning of your marriage and your children, the value that it would bring to your spiritual power and connection to God. So brothers and sisters, here's the question for you. How do you develop this type of certainty? where you can walk and talk with real power, where you don't become victim to circumstances and situations. And while things may hit you, deaths may happen, illness and disease may strike, financial turbulence may hit you hard, regardless of circumstances and situations, you still create maximum value. You still walk with purpose and power. How does this take place and how can one develop real power like that? Today I'm going to give you two really simple steps, two really simple steps that allow you to create power. Now if you're hearing that little fountain in the background, it's the fountain in front of my home and there's running water and what I've found in studying red is that well, running water and the sound of it is very therapeutic. So don't mind the water in the back, no I'm not using the bathroom while I'm shooting the podcast. Just out here in front of my home, enjoying the beautiful Southern California weather. So here it is. Let's jump into this. Okay, two things to give you power to increase your certainty. Number one, honor your word. Let me say this again. Honor your word. Now, some of you are like, that's it. There's got to be something more. Please tell me that there's something more. No, that's it. What does honor your word mean? It means if you make a commitment, you must follow through. It means if you make a promise, you keep the promise. If you say you're going to do something, you do that when you say you're going to do it. It's a very simple game. And yet most people want to bastardize or complicate this. It's not that complicated. Do what you said you would do. Stephen Covey, in his book, Seven Habits, as you can tell, I love studying Covey and the seven habits and just... What he stood for and what he taught, it really resonated with me. And he said the fastest way to confidence, and I I understand this is the fastest way to real certainty, is to make a commitment and keep it. Why? How is this possible? See, there's a power inside of us that cannot be given to us. It's a power and a permission that even God, God is almighty. right? But he, he cannot give us this power that must be created from within which is this, I know that if I can fulfill, that when I declare something I want to create, when I declare an impossibility that I'm I'm committed to, and I know that I fulfill, and I know that I follow through, and I know that regardless of what happens in my life and with my circumstances and situations, I know that if I can fulfill and when I fulfill and declare that impossibility to become a reality, there is no greater power that can be found on this planet Earth. It's real power when you know that you fulfill. When you know that when you make a commitment and it's as good as done, you'll never worry about money. Now think about this, why do people worry about money? Because they know they are either incompetent, right? They lack skill sets. They don't have the the skills, the mindset to fulfill, but You know, more than that, it's because they know they can't fulfill or they won't fulfill. The moment a man or woman, the moment you, yes, you, the listener, know that you fulfill, that when you say you're going to do something, you do it. When you know that, you stop worrying about money. You stop worrying about, well, can I pay this bill? Of course you can. Because money follows the very universal principles and laws, which is dollars follow value. Really simple. Think about this in in your physical health. If you know that whatever you say you're going to do, that you're going to do, if you know that and when you know that and that becomes who you are being, 
You just don't worry about whatever party you're going to or if they're going to have plenty of sugar and cakes and lemon bars and chocolate chip cookies. You don't worry if there's going to be a ton of alcohol. You don't worry if people around you are drinking or shoving down carbs or overeating. You just don't worry if you have to travel on an airplane or go to a hotel or you're on the road for two weeks. Because I hear it all the time. Oh, it's so hard. So tell me it's so hard when you're on the road. Here's, here's my news. It's not hard. You're just not strong enough. Your power hasn't come yet. You haven't developed the power and certainty to know that if you say you're going to do something, you're going to follow through. So can you follow through? Can you keep your word? Can you do the things you said you were going to do? Which means you've got to commit to less things, but whatever you commit to, you're going to do it. That's the simple part. Now, the second part is really simple. Which is this, speak powerfully. Again, some of you are like, and? No, that's it. See, language creates. It is in our language that we create power, certainty. It is in our language that we create our reality. When I'm working out, oftentimes I will say things like, I'm getting stronger, I'm getting better. I'm getting in better shape. But fountains off. And in my language, I, I begin to create the reality. Instead of saying things like, I'm in such bad shape, which then gives me the feeling I'm in bad shape, which sends the message that I'm in bad shape, which doesn't make me feel any better. I just tell a different story and change my language. I'm actually getting stronger. When my kids are driving me crazy because they're arguing and they haven't had any food in their systems and they're up and down the stairs and I'm stepping on Legos and all kinds of things, what ends up happening is I tell a different story and I speak differently. I take five deep breaths. I remember what I want and who I am. I remember that my kids are just kids and I began to use language to create something different. See, showing up and speaking and using your language is, is critical if you're going to create. Learning the power of words gives us new perspective and perspective always creates possibility. Gives us insight when we begin to speak differently, powerfully, present, short, concisive. See, weak people, they speak in long explanations and stories and they go round and round. But powerful people, they learn how to communicate in a manner that gets them what they want. Truthfully, honest, real, raw, relevant. Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you right now, if you did these two things, kept your commitments and learned how to speak powerfully. Learn how to use your language. Instead of speaking like a victim, you begin to speak like a producer. Instead of speaking like an amateur, amateur, you begin to speak like a professional. And this doesn't mean to posture and pretend. It means to be, to be the best you. So can you create this certainty in your life? Will you create this certainty in your life? Will you come from that place of power, knowing who you are, whose you are, and the path that you walk has purpose? If you'll do this, you will see a very radical shift in your behavior, in your insight, and in your perspective. And if you don't, well, you just keep getting the same thing. And if what you have is awesome, well, keep doing what you're doing. It's your boy, Sitem reminding you if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, it's going to require you to get into a relentless pursuit with a ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day so that you can get to the top of your mountains where your prize, your promised lands, and your possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you. The revolution has begun. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.